Hello there, my name is Dr. Pickleface and I'm going to be your host for this day. I was told to share some random facts about New Year's Day by I think his name is Mr. Jerry? Oh no no no, it may be Mr. Perry. Oh no, it is another name. Oh, Mr. Terry? Well, I know he is some guy with funny hair and glasses, but me, I'm moving on. So let's get started. Here are some fun facts about the awesome day known as New Year's Day. The first fact is a song named Ong Lang is the most sung song on New Year's Day. And another fun fact, Black Eyed Peas, no, no, not that Black Eyed Peas, the food are a common dish on New Year's Day. 2,000 pounds of confetti is dropped in New York Times Square on New Year's Day. That's another fun fact for you. Here's another one. Millions of people make New Year resolutions. That's just a fancy word for goals. And they do not keep them. Over 80% of New Year's resolutions fail. That means if you have 10 people in a room that made a New Year's resolution, eight of them would not successfully keep it. Wow. Well, you know what? I have a friend I want you to meet, and he will talk to you more about resolutions or uh, the goals that people make. My buddy Al, are you there? Happy New Year, streamers. Welcome to the New Year. <laughs> My name is Al Lien, but you can call me Al. I am so thankful that you are here with us today and ready to learn. Mr. Terry and Dr. Pickleface asked me to discuss setting goals with you. That actually goes by another name known as New Year Resolutions too. <laughs> and you have probably heard of the word resolution as many, many humans set these things called New Year's Resolutions at the beginning of a new year. And they try their best to stick to them. Resolutions are just goals that people are setting to try and do better in an area that they felt they need to change. Some resolutions people make are fitness based like uh, like going to the gym or uh, eating healthier like me. I'm, I'm going to be drinking more water from now on. Oh, oh uh, that's water, I promise. Um, um, okay, you got me. It's soda. But hey, I'm trying to do better. Some people have plans to be nicer to people or to save more money or to accomplish something like getting all others on the report card <laughs> or, or maybe stop doing things like playing so many video games um <laughs> hold, hold on one second I, i'm i'm finishing my career on 2k20 you're a step on the heads and finish at the rim in your face la <laughs> Got to be stronger next time brown brown <laughs> oh, oh sorry about that uh where were we all oh, right w whatever the resolution is one thing that typically happens with most people they fail. <laughs> well, I guess that's not funny, but but hey, this happens mostly because humans just say they're going to do something without creating a realistic or a smart goal. Also, because people don't include God in their plans. That's also very important. So let's talk more about that part. The Bible tells us in Proverbs chapter 16, verse 3, Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and he will establish your plans. This means to completely rely on God for everything we do and our plans will succeed. But what does that really mean? Pray to God and ask him what his plans are for you and what goals God wants you to accomplish. So I said the word SMART, but do you know what I mean by SMART goal? SMART is an acronym for sandwich makers are really tall. Hmm. No, no wait, that's not right. Uh, it's an acronym for Students map a raccoon tree. H hold on, that's not it either. Uh, let me think. It uh, it oh, oh oh oh, it really stands for specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and timely. 
So let's break down each letter and word and see what they mean. S equals specific. This means to make your goal very clear. For example, let's say you want to learn more about God this year. Instead of saying, I want to learn more about God, that's way too unclear of a goal. You'll say, I want to learn more about God by reading my Bible for 20 minutes every day. Now that goal is specific and you can start to plan the steps necessary for you to complete that goal. M equals measurable. This means how will you be able to know that you are making progress with achieving your goal? This usually involves numbers. A equals achievable. It means that your goal is something that can actually be reached. For example, if you say, I want to read the whole Bible in a day, that may not be achievable when you think about the time you will need to accomplish this goal. R equals realistic. This is similar to achievable, but goes a little farther. This is where you question if your goal is, is even real. If someone said their goal is to grow big muscles like Dwayne The Rock Johnson by Friday, well, that's just not realistic in that time frame. T equals timely. This means that you set a time for your goal to be accomplished. It can be days, weeks, months, or a year. Now we learned where each of the parts of a SMART goal is. Let's actually make one. I want to be a better reader. Hmm, nope. I don't think that's a good SMART goal. But let's try this one. I will become a better basketball player by practicing five hours a week for the next three months. Great SMART goal. That's a great job. So uh, what's next? What would you do after you set your SMART goal? Well, I'm glad you asked. The next thing is actually working to accomplish your SMART goal. But what if you what if you mess up? Let's say for two weeks straight, you are only able to practice one hour a week and not five. Well, that's okay. Many times people give up on their resolutions and goals because they messed up or couldn't do it a few times. But don't quit. You have to keep going and be okay with messing up sometimes. Don't let that stop you from keep going. And most importantly, continuously talk to God about your goal through prayer. Remember Proverbs chapter 16 verse 3. All right, extremers, we learned about smart goals and other cool things today. So feel free to share some of your New Year's resolutions or smart goals with us in the comments, with parent permission, of course. All right, I'm going to head back to my home planet of Extremotopia. Until next time, extremers, peace out.